What's going on everyone? Mike here, Canadian Cards. Uh, little video. Uh, it's Monday evening. And um, today was a, uh, a provincial holiday here in Ontario. It's called Civic Day. So we had a long weekend. And I had lots of time to recoup from the National. Um, my hip, my back, my legs in general, my feet, pretty much from the waist down, and my lower back were just aching. But um, woke up today, felt a lot better. And as usual on every national holiday, there's a, there's a card show. So why not? Like I didn't get my fill at the national, right? Gotta go and see. And of course, um, you know, very, very limited. So I did pick up a few things that I'm going to share with you. Just wanted to point out one of my uh, good buddies from the National gave me this. Eric, those back pages. Hashtag you matter. Got to keep them in there. A um, couple things. <sighs> These were tops insert sets from um, 8081 tops. So it's a set of 16 of them. It's my team, the Habs. Um, nothing major, you know, just something cool, a different item. Sabres, LA Kings and the old, uh, the old unis. St. Louis Blues, first time Stanley Cup champs. Minnesota North, North Stars who eventually moved to Dallas and became the Dallas Stars, the Flyers, Islanders. That's just shortly after their dominance of, uh, I think they won four in a row. Chicago Blackhawks, Boston Bruins, Hot Fed Whalers, Colorado Rockies. Not sure if anyone knows where this team originated or where it is now, but I'm gonna tell you, it started out as the Kansas City Scouts. They are now the New Jersey Devils. Detroit Red Wings, Washington Capitals, New York Rangers, Vancouver Canucks in their hideous flying V, and then back to the top. So there's, if I'm going to do this, make this on top, I'm going to do that, put the Habs first, so just thought I'd throw that in there. And another thing I picked up. I'm a big CFL football fan too, Canadian Football League. These are from 1971, also a 16 poster set. Um, this is my hometown team, the Hamilton Tiger Cats. So we've got uh, Angelo Mosca, famous for his wrestling days as King Kong Mosca. Tommy Joe Coffey, guy's a legend in Hamilton. Bill Tan Danichuk, don't quite remember him. Garney Henley, this guy uh, for the Hamilton Tie Cats back in the day was starting receiver, starting defensive back, and played most of the special teams. This guy did it all. Um, then a bunch of other guys, Al Panuff, Herm Harrison, you know, just n n nobody to write home about that you guys would even know. I know who they are, um, but um, I'm sure it's not a big deal for you guys. But nonetheless, one of my pickups. So I'll throw that there. And uh, I bought some new stuff today, guys, which I normally don't do. I bought some. Um, so one dealer had a little bit of baseball. I, I did buy some of them, some of his stuff. So. I got some Harpers, so I got a PSA 9 from 2012, front leg up, the PSA 9, and then I also grabbed this uh, 2012 Tops uh, Screaming, it says, in a PSA 9, and then, for good measure, he had this there. Basically threw it in for the cost of the grading. It's it's also uh, him. Beckett calls it yelling. 
PSA labeled it screaming. So this one's a 10. So pretty much threw it in for the, the price of the grading. And then uh, what else did I grab? I grabbed two Mike Trout. So I bought a Beckett uh, 2017 Gypsy Queen and a uh, 10. Sorry about the glare there, guys. I'm going to move some of these. And I also bought 2011 TriStar Pursuit Mike Trout in an Ear Mint to Mint PSA 8. So I picked those up. So those were fun. They were a good price. Um, checked all my stats on eBay and uh, everything seemed to be good. So um, picked up this beauty. Carlton Fisk Rookie, 1972 Tops. Uh, only a PSA 3, but it, it was really cheap. A little bit uh, a little bit more than the cost of grading it. So I thought, what the heck? <clears throat> a lot of these were that. I think the guy was just trying to get rid of some baseball. Uh, 93 Upper Deck Derek Jeter in a near mint 7. Picked that up. And then I also picked up, this was on my want list at the National, and for some reason I got too distracted and I never did pick it up. Tony Dorsett. Back's pretty good. Rookie card, University of Pitt. And then near Mint 7. Picked that up. I was shocked to find it, actually, considering that, you know, I'm always saying, oh, we don't have we don't have hockey or baseball or football up in Canada. So, And then lastly, I picked up this butte. Jerry Rice, near Mint 7. Goes along with the uh, Montana that I bought at the National in a 7. Great card. Had to have it. So I'll throw that in there, see if I can kind of set them both up. So there you have it, guys. Um, yes, I went to a card show today. Again, it was a holiday Monday. They're actually going to have another one on Labor Day, so I'll be attending that. And um, that's about it. Hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.